Good day everyone, in this video I will be explaining that how to clean install Windows 11 2.4 H2. So Windows 11 2.4 H2 is the next major refresh of the operating system and expected to arrive in the second half of 2024. But still you can install Windows 11 2.4 H2 using the Insider Preview program to check their new upcoming feature. However, it's not recommended that you should install the Windows 11 2.4 h2 right now on your primary device there can be a lot of bug and problem as it is in a testing version so instead of downloading in the primary device you can download on your secondary device or any kind of virtual machine all right so first you will have to come to this website the link will be in the description of microsoft and here you will have to log in with your microsoft account in case if you don't have one then you can click on create one and create a microsoft account then you have to log in to this page now once you log into this page you have to scroll down and you will find the select addition option you have to click on the drop down and from here you can either go with the windows 11 inside a preview canary channel or dev channel with the build number 26058 select it click on confirm and then you have to choose your product language select it click on confirm and then click on 64-bit download and the downloading will be started okay so it's around 4.8 gigabytes so it will take some time so wait until it's all been downloaded and once it get downloaded you will have to come to another website of rufu so that we can create a bootable usb of windows 11 h2 so come to this page scroll down a bit and you will find rufus 4.4.exe click on the link and it will be quickly downloaded so click on the downloaded file click on yes and this kind of rufus box will be coming up now in the device section you have to choose your right usb that you want to make bootable usb then from the boot selection you will have to click on select now locate to the windows 11 iso of 24h2 that you have downloaded select it click on open now in the volume label you can name it like win 1124h2 and then simply you will have to click on start now after clicking on start it may take about like 10 to 15 minutes to create a bootable usb so you will have to wait until it's all been done so once the usb has been created now connect this usb to the machine where you want to install windows 11 24 h2 and after connecting you will have to restart the computer in the bios mode so that you can change the boot priority order so depending on your manufacturer the bios key can be different i'm using a virtual machine so i will be using f10 key and as soon as you boot from it finally you will be getting this windows 11 setup page and you can also see that this setup page is quite different from the previous one that we had in 23H2. So here you have to choose the language, currency format, then you have to click on next. Choose the keyboard layout, click on next. Now here you get some different option like it says I would like to install Windows 11 or repair my PC. So you can also repair your PC from here. And in case if you want to go with the previous version of setup that you had in the older windows 11 then you can click on this option so i will keep as it is and keep this selected to install windows 11 and then you have to click on next now it will ask you the product key so if you have the product key then you can enter it or click on i don't have a product key and here you have to choose your windows 11 version so i will be choosing the windows 11 pro if you want to go with any other version like home or education then you can select that select it click on next then you have to scroll down and accept the terms and the next page you will be getting that says select location to install windows 11 so it will be displaying all kind of disk connected to your computer so you will have to select the one where you want to install windows 11 to 4 h2 if you want to create any kind of partition then you can click on create partition and choose the partition size from here i won't be creating any partition so i will keep this selected to unallocated space and click on next then you will be getting this page install windows 11 pro keep nothing so finally click on install again and the process of installation will be now started so even the installation screen is different as compared to the old windows 11 all right so let's wait until it's all been done and then i will take you through with the new update and the new feature of windows 11 h2 
all right so now we have to go with the configuration so choose the country origin choose the keyboard layout then you have to click on yes secondary layout i will skip it and now you will have to name your device so give any particular name that you want to i will give tech genie and then i will click on next now next it will ask you how would you like to set up this device so i will go with setup for a personal use click on next now it will ask you to sign in to unlock your microsoft experience so click on sign in and if you have a microsoft account then you will have to sign in with that account if you don't have one then you can click on create one if you don't want to go with microsoft account and you want to bypass it then i have already created a video you can check that video apart of that what else you can try there is a small trick that sometimes work like i will type any email here then i will click on next now i will type some wrong password here and again click on sign in so it will give you this message oops something went wrong and now this time if you click on next it will automatically bypass the microsoft account and now here you have to enter your name for the local account so just type your name then click on next now if you need a password then you can enter your password or if you don't need any password then click on next however the password is recommended so you should go and create a one then you have to click on next choose privacy setting for your device i will just go ahead and disable all of them i don't need them then i will click on accept all right so finally windows 11 has been installed now and if you notice at the right -hand corner it says windows 11 pro inside a preview now if i bring more detail about it so if i type winbar and hit the enter key so you can see here now it says microsoft windows version 24 h2 os build 26058.1000 all right so now if i talk about the new feature so this time if you go in the settings now you will find a new option of ai super resolution in the display option so you will have to go in the settings in the system then you will have to go in the display option and in display once you click on graphics so here you will find many changes like optimization for windowed games that you can enable or disable it even you can see the navigation the look and theme has been changed here like you can add any kind of desktop app add microsoft store app for which you can change the priority for the graphic card next if you again go back to system and you go in the power section with the power in the energy saver you will be getting a new option here by the name always use energy saver that is more profitable more useful for the laptop user who are more concerned about the battery now part of that there are many more options are being added like in the notepad and now if you type any kind of text and if you make a right click on it so you will be getting a new option over there that says explain with copilot okay so these are especially with the ai features that are being added in 24h2 a part of that there are many more advanced options are being added in the copilot in windows 11 24h2 that you would be able to enjoy there will be also ai voice clarity for recording any kind of your voice or doing any kind of podcast using your windows 11 machine the part of that when you click on this a uh, quick setting option and here on the right hand side you will find a new option where you can scroll up and down to navigate to more settings in the scroll area okay so this is another option that has been added in the new version of windows 11. so there are many more things like the sudo command also has been added in windows 11 that is especially for the developer now it's all up to you go ahead and enjoy all these features check that how exactly it work and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.